everyone and welcome to my channel that mainly focuses on uh, everyday lifestyle. So uh, I have been planning to make this video since a very very long time. In fact to be honest I've been uh, planning to make this video since the day I got a work from home because of the whole COVID-19. Uh, by the way just cutting in I hope you guys are safe and healthy and you're ensuring that you know you maintain social distancing to keep everybody around you as well as yourself safe so coming back to the idea of the video uh, in fact i thought that you know i'll be working from home and i'll have so much time and i can utilize that time in doing so many things that i don't otherwise get time to do so um i had like a whole lot of ideas i started penning them down and i decided that the video is going to be too too long if i put everything together in one video so i have decided that you know i'm gonna take out a series of these kind of videos i will start with um, only five or maybe six things that um, you know i feel are the most important and you need to start off right away so on the priority of importance and the time is how i will be taking out these videos so going back to um, the topic of the video i am going to be telling you five or six things that you know you can do uh, you can make full use of during this quarantine period to take care of yourself first so let, let's you know uh, i think it's very very important in this fast life that we don't get a lot of time to do, you know, things that we really, really want to do. So my tip number one is get those nail paints off. So yeah, we need to go to office. We need to look good all the time. We need to, you know, stay well groomed. And uh, what we don't realize is that we're doing a lot of damage to our nails. Our nails need to breathe as well. So as you can see, I don't have any nail paint because... I think it's a good time to let them breathe, to let them get back to their normal color. In fact, I've also been applying a little bit of vitamin E oil to get them that glow and shine back. So the tip number two is, I think you should start oiling your hair. In fact, if you have a lot of time and if you have somebody at home who can give you a nice jumpy, I think uh, maybe oiling your hair even twice a week is a very good idea at this time. We all use a lot of hair styling products. In fact, um, using a hair straightener or a you know straighten straightener comb is a very normal thing these days, just to look very put together. But in the whole process, the amount of damage that we're doing to our hair, it's not even you know don't even get me started on that. So I've given my hair a break. You can see my hair has frizz right now. I wanted to make the video, but I just want to be away from any kind of hair styling products or, you know, from hair styling tools. Don't want to give it any heat. So start oiling your hair. I generally have a tendency wherein I oil my hair for half an hour, one hour, and then I go and wash it. Uh, what I've tried differently now is that I'm trying to leave in the oil for a little longer. So maybe I oil my hair uh, maybe at night and I wash it the next day in the evening. I know um, a lot of you will say that it does not make any difference whether you leave it for half an hour or for 12 hours, but I think my hair is getting the nourishment that it needs. Now, the tip number three is, I think you should let your skin be. I mean, um, every day, even in a no makeup look, we have so much makeup on. So although I'm not a very makeup heavy person, like for me, it's just a normal BB cream, lipstick and kajal and I'm good to go, which is more or less what I have on right now. In fact, uh, in the last 10 days, this is the first time I've even used, you know, a BB cream on my face. So yeah, let, let just, let's just stay away from all that makeup. Let it just, you know, sit back in our... Um, let it just sit back in our drawers inside let's just not look at them for some time because once we have to go out i think it's gonna come back and there's no way of avoiding it okay <clears throat> so my tip number four is that um, if we are staying at home it's very important that we keep our mental balance in place because with the kind of lifestyle that we have, I don't think we're used to it. I think 21 days is quite a lot of time. I think a lot of people are already going insane. 
so um you know we we could do small things that could keep keep us occupied and uh, you know channelize and focus our energies in um, a different uh, way in a different place so just you know i just got this idea wherein i took out some seeds from my uh, refrigerator so you would ask me why refrigerator i just sliced some okra i just sliced some tomatoes and um, a few methi seeds that i had uh, in my kitchen and i've planted them all in the empty um, you know planters that i had so um i i've been taking care of them a little bit now and i will be you know i'm i'm actually looking forward to see them grow in fact a few methi seeds have already germinated and uh, yeah if if you're not that much into planting i think you know this this can be a very good time where you can just learn something in fact uh, since we don't get to step out and we can't go and buy new plants a very good idea is to take a uh, small cuttings from your um already growing plants at home and cut them um plant them in fact money plants can be planted in smaller water bottles they do really well in water bottles a uh, snake plant can be grafted and you can use the leaf to uh, you know plant a new plant So yeah there are a lot of ways where you can make yourself occupied you can um, do a lot of things and actually trust me for all of you who are a new plant parent it's a very fulfilling process to actually see your plants grow so i think you should give it a shot okay now my tip number 5 is that you should do some exercise i know that um, some of us are lazy some of us are too tired from you know our everyday routines running around to office coming back home and tons of things to do but um and the reason why i've included this in my video in the very first video is because um i think that it won't make sense if you started in, if you start exercising in the last 5 days i think a lot of damage would already be done by then so i'm not asking you to do like a full fledged one hour workout but uh, a few basic things that you can do to ensure that you're fit because we basically not even walking all you're doing is just moving around in the house that's that's probably not even you know 7 800 steps or maybe 1000 steps a day so we need to compensate it somewhere so i guess um it's a good thing that you know we start little bit of exercise not too much in fact a very good way of doing that is doing your own charu posha i think that is a very very good exercise that you can do and uh, if you do just that i don't think you need to do anything extra but yeah a little bit on your core on your abs a little bit of squats a little bit of jumping jacks never hurt anybody or you could just you know go and dance for people who actually like to dance I think you couldn't have had a better workout than that. I am not that person, but dancing is a good idea too. Okay, and um tip number 6 is that um get in touch with your old friends because uh I think it's extremely important firstly to make sure if everybody who's been dear to us at some point in our lives or the other uh we should wish them a good health we should you know speak to them and figure out how they're doing figure out how their family is doing i think it generally feels good to get back with a new with an old friend you know where uh you just like to you know get back in touch and uh, i'm not talking about just anybody but i'm sure just like me there are a lot of people uh you know in your lives to whom you've not been in touch with because of the daily nuances in life and we kind of lose touch so pick up your phone just maybe think about calling one friend a day i there are going to be more than 21 people trust me so i think yeah these are the tips that i wanted to share with you and uh, wait for my next video which will have some more tips uh, this time i'll not focus it on um, your own self but other productive things that you can do so stay tuned for that and in case you liked the video 
do hit the like button or the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel bye